In this video, we are going to do some problems on application of simple derivatives in finding the marginal and average functions given the total function. Let us solve problem A. In the solution, we will write down given total cost function c equals 3q square plus 7q plus 12. We need to find the marginal cost function and average cost function. Let us first find the marginal cost function. The marginal cost function is denoted by mc which is equal to dc by dq. Now the marginal cost is the additional cost incurred in producing an additional unit of a product or marginal cost is the change in the total cost of the firm due to change in unit of product produce which is equal to derivative with respect to q of 3q square plus 7q plus 12. Using the sum and difference rule the derivative with respect to q of 3q square plus 7q plus 12 is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term plus derivative with respect to q of the second term plus derivative with respect to q of the third term. Using the constant times of function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 3q square is equal to 3 times derivative with respect to q of q square plus again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to q of 7q is equal to 7 times derivative with respect to q of q plus using the constant function rule the derivative with respect to q of constant 12 is equal to 0. Using the power function rule the derivative with respect to q of q square is equal to 2q plus 7. The derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1. 3 times 2 equals 6q plus 7 times 1 equals 7. Therefore, the marginal cost function which is equal to dc by dq is equal to 6q plus 7. Let us now find the average cost function. The average cost function is denoted by AC which is equal to C by Q. Here C is the total cost of the firm and Q is the units of product produce. If we divide the total cost of the firm by the units of product produce, we will get the average cost. The total cost function C is equal to 3Q square plus 7Q plus 12. So in place of C, I'm going to write down 3q square plus 7q plus 12. By splitting the fraction, we have 3q square by q plus 7q by q plus 12 by q. Now q in the numerator can be cancelled out with q in the denominator. So we are left with 3q plus 7 plus 12 by q. Therefore, average cost function c equals c by q which is equal to 3q plus 7 plus 12 by q. Let us now solve problem b. In the solution, we will write down given total revenue function r equals 10 q minus q square. We need to find the marginal revenue function and average revenue function. Let us first find the marginal revenue function. The marginal revenue function is denoted by mr which is equal to dr by dq that is derivative of r with respect to q. The marginal revenue is the additional revenue of the firm which results from selling an additional unit of a product or marginal revenue is the change in the total revenue of the firm due to change in units of product sold which is equal to 
derivative with respect to q of 10q minus q square. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to q of 10q minus q square is equal to derivative with respect to q of the first term minus derivative with respect to q of the second term. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to q of 10q is equal to 10 times derivative with respect to q of q minus the derivative with respect to q of q square is equal to 2q. The derivative with respect to q of q is equal to 1 minus 2q. 10 times 1 equals 10 minus 2q. Therefore, the marginal revenue function which is equal to dr by dq is equal to 10 minus 2q. Let us now find the average revenue function. The average revenue function is denoted by ar which is equal to r by q. Here r is the total revenue of the firm and q is the units of product sold. If we divide the total revenue of the firm by the units of product sold, we will get the average revenue. The total revenue function r equals 10q minus q square. So in place of r, I am going to write down 10q minus q square. By splitting the fraction, we have 10q by q minus q square by q. q in the numerator can be cancelled out with q in the denominator. So we are left with 10 minus q. Therefore, the average revenue function which is equal to r by q is equal to 10 minus q. Let us now solve problem C. In the solution, we will write down given total product function q equals al plus bl square minus cl cube. Here q is a function of only one independent variable l that is labor. We need to find the marginal product function and average product function. Let us first find the marginal product function. The marginal product function is denoted by mp which is equal to dq by dl. The marginal product is the additional product or output resulting from an employment of an additional unit of an input, in this case labor or marginal product is the change in the total product or output due to change in units of input employed which is equal to derivative with respect to L of AL plus BL square minus CL cube. Using the sum and difference rule, the derivative with respect to L of AL plus BL square minus CL cube is equal to derivative with respect to L of the first term plus derivative with respect to L of the second term minus derivative with respect to L of the third term. Using the constant times a function rule, the derivative with respect to L of AL is equal to A times derivative with respect to L of L plus again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to L of BL square is equal to B times derivative with respect to L of L square minus again using the constant times a function rule the derivative with respect to L of CL cube is equal to C times derivative with respect to L of L cube. The derivative with respect to L of L is equal to 1 plus B. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to L of L square is equal to 2L minus C. Using the power function rule, the derivative with respect to L of L cube is equal to 3L square. A times 1 equals A plus 2B L minus 3 C L square. Therefore, the marginal product function which is equal to dq by dl is equal to a plus 2bl minus 3 cl square. Let us now find the average product function. 
the average prop function is denoted by AP which is equal to Q by L. Here Q is the total product or output of the firm and L is the units of input employed that is labor. If we divide the total product or output of the firm by the units of input employed we will get the average product. The total product function Q equals AL plus PL square minus CL cube. So in place of Q I'm going to write down AL plus BL square minus C L cube. By splitting the fraction we have A L by L plus B L square by L minus C L cube by L. L in the numerator can be cancelled out with L in the denominator. So we are left with A plus B L minus C L square. Therefore, average product function AP which is equal to Q by L is equal to A plus B L minus C L square.